my name is Alina Dabrova. I'm 26 years old. I moved to America when I was five. And I moved from Ukraine. Odessa, Ukraine. Go. Um, I was, I had my daughter 19 months ago. I was very happy to announce my pregnancy to my family that lives back in Ukraine. And I was, I never read, I never picked up a book on postpartum depression, just books about natural childbirthing. So I just never thought the postpartum depression would something that would hit me until it actually happened and lasted about a year long. But I hold an empty hand. I don't know um, actually, as soon as I had her, like the morning after, um, so they had like some sort of social worker come into like the hospital room and ask if I'm feeling okay and I told I told her right away that I'm not well that like I need help. Living out of a shopping cart. Well my birthing plan didn't go as I wanted it to, so I was upset about that, but I just didn't feel like that connection that I thought that I would feel. Right? I was just like feeling upset and angry and I just felt alone. Uh, nothing really happened. They just made me fill out a questionnaire, and that was that. Right. I didn't really get help from them. They weren't questions that could like help me deal with it. Right. Just felt even more alone because my family wasn't around to help, and my husband was working from morning until like midnight. Right. So I was just alone in my depression. So I was just feeling angry at my kid. I was feeling angry at my birthing plan. I was feeling angry at my midwives, my everyone that was part of my birth and had anything to do with like birth. I was just feeling anger and sadness and bitterness. Um, yeah, I was getting worse. Feeling annoyed with everything my daughter did. I was feeling like I never want to have kids again. Like. Why would anyone want to ever go through labor? I was just always scared. I wasn't, I wasn't scared to be with her. I just like my postpartum depression was like postpartum psychosis, um, where I was like nearly hallucinating that someone was out to get me, and I would like call people in our in my community and tell them that like someone's out to get me and I, I really believed that it was real. I, I believed that someone, I couldn't even, I was like so scared of the unknown that I couldn't keep my door closed to my house. No, my family lives far away and they, they're not the supportive type and especially when it has something to do with this. Because back in their day, they weren't really so they didn't have support for their own postpartum depression. No one even admitted that they had postpartum depression, so me telling them that I feel depressed, uh, they weren't really so supportive. They, they wouldn't even know how to help. Right. I a therapist until I was nine months postpartum because I couldn't really afford seeing one. It's so expensive and I tried to ask my midwife if she knew any programs for ladies with postpartum depression, but not everyone's so open about it. So it was just me alone at home trying to battle this depression. So I didn't really get help until nine months. Um, I just worked with them when, when it happens, and my therapist was able to help me figure out and like pinpoint when they're about to start happening so I can work through them. get help as soon as possible because it really doesn't get better it, it just it doesn't with some people maybe maybe with time like it'll take like a year or something it'll get better but unless someone sees a string or takes I don't know tinctures or vitamins or medication yeah. like it's very rare that it'll just get better and me that I should have right away gotten even numbers to therapists that deal with postpartum depression but they just the hospital just let me go even though they knew I like told them right away that I'm not feeling good. 
Um, I still go see my therapist. I guess we'll see. This time I know what to expect. I know what can happen again. And I'm just trying to do everything I could yeah. now to try to lessen the effects of it if I do have it. Okay.